Hello everyone, welcome to Research and Analysis. My name is Dr. Kamran. In today's video, I'm going to share you some top tips that can make you more productive while using ChatGPT for your academic writing. First of all, whenever you want to use ChatGPT for your academic writing, always customize your account. And it is always better just to create a separate account for which you can dedicate specifically for research writing. To customize your uh, ChatGPT account, just simply go from your profile and here you can see the option of customize ChatGPT. On this form, you can provide all the required information including your nickname, what do you do including like you can write you are a PhD student in this this university and then what trait should chat gpt have you can provide them the information right what kind of tone that you would like like for example if you want chat gpt to write in academic or innovative style you can uh, you can tell the chat gpt about it and after that you can write anything else chat gpt should know about you here you can write uh, all the information regarding your search topic, your preferences in terms of, for example, if you want uh, to have any specific uh, citation style or whatever the preferences that you have in terms of academic writing. This is all the information that you should provide here. And after uh, selecting and writing all the required information, you can simply save your data. So once you are done with providing your personal data, then after that, whatever the query that you will ask from ChatGPT, ChatGPT will consider that information while answer your queries. The next step is regarding the data control. Uh, whatever the information or the data that we normally put in ChatGPT, by default, we have actually uh, given the ChatGPT right to use that data. Uh, for the model improvement but obviously whenever you are working on peer review stuff you do not want anyone to use your data or the information unless your uh, your article is being published in my opinion it is always better to disable this option if you do not want chat apt to use your data for model improvement simply again go from this setting and from here simply click this data control here you can see on the first line improve the model for everyone and by default it is on in order to disable it simply click it and from here we can disable it now whatever the data that you will put in chat gpt chat gpt will not use it for model improvement the next step is regarding the memory option in chat gpt whatever the information or the data that you feed in chat gpt uh, it normally save in its memory and in next time or in future whatever the inquiries that you will made the chat gpt will use the, the previous information or the data to answer that query so it is important if you are working on same topic or same kind of documents then of course it is uh, it is better just to save that data in the memory but if you are using your chat gpt account for multiple purposes then it is better just to disable this memory option to disable this memory option simply go from your profile again from setting and from here simply click this personalization and from here you can disable this reference saved memories once you will disable it then chat gpt will not use your memories while responding to your questions you can also have the similar function by using this temporary chat option. Simply click it and now you can see whatever the searching that you will made by using chat GPT, it will not save in the history and no model training and finally memory will also off. Mean it will not save the data in the memory and also it will not use your previous memory to answer your questions. The fourth step is about use of customized GPTs for academic writing. So rather than searching through chat GPT, you can rely on specialized GPTs which are specifically designed for different purposes. For example, for research purpose, I have added two customized GPTs. One is consensus and other one is scholar GPT. In the same way, you can explore other relevant GPTs as well by using this option of explore GPTs. Let's just click it. Here I can write different keywords to find out appropriate GPTs according to the requirement of our work. For example, if I am looking for any, any specific GPT to respond to our email, then I let me just write email and search. So see, it has provided us some specialized GPTs which can helpful in writing emails. But here, obviously our focus is research. So let me write research writing. 
See, it has provided us a number of GPTs that are relevant with research writing. Since I already tried with consensus, let's just try with consensus. See, this is consensus and here I can write my query. Is there any link between MHRM and imply engagement? Provide reasoning from the literature review. So let's just search. Yes, allow. See, consensus GPT has provided us the detailed reasoning along with the relevant citations. So this is how you can use different customized GPTs for your research writing. The last tip is about the use of this newly launched feature of deep research. This is very helpful, especially if we want to solve some complex problems. But the problem is, uh, since I am using the free version of ChatGPT, I can try this feature only five times till the 16th June. I hope this video will be helpful to enhance your research productivity while using ChatGPT for academic writing.